Hi everyone, how you doing? So in this video we're going to be going over Tom Petty's song, Learning to Fly. So this is a really fun song to play and it's also good to work on your chord changes. So it's the same chord progression throughout the whole song with the same strumming pattern as well. There are a few different strumming patterns that you can do which I'll go over later in the song. But what I'll do, I'll play a bit of the song for you so you can hear how it goes and then I'll talk you through the chords and the strumming pattern for you. So that's the whole song, pretty much the exact same chord progression, exact same strumming patterns the whole way through. There are a few wee extra bits in the song uh, nearer the end that he does, which we'll go over there, but that's pretty much the gist of it there. So to start off with, we're going to play our F major chord. So you've just got your first finger in the second string on the first fret, your middle finger in the third string in the second fret, and then your third finger in the fourth string in the third fret. And the strumming that you're going to do for that, you're just going to focus from strumming from the fourth string down. So you're just going to do that down, up, down, down. And then you're going on to your C major chord next. And all you need to do there is lift your middle finger up to the fourth string in the second fret, and then your third finger up to the fifth string in the third fret. And that's you there. You can just leave your first finger where it is on the second string in the first fret. And the strumming here, you're just going to do up, down, up, down. And then you're on to your A minor chord next and all you need to do here is just lift your third finger over to the third string in the second fret and that's you there and you're just going to be doing down, up, down and then you're going on to your G major next which all you're doing there is lifting your middle finger up to the fifth string in the second fret, your third finger up to the sixth string in the third fret and then your pinky on the second string on the third fret and you just lift your first finger off and then you're just going to be doing it up, down, up strum in there and that's it you just repeat that the whole way through the song and that's you there so I'll play at a slow tempo for you just so you can hear it and then we'll go on to the next bit we'll talk you through the strum other different strumming patterns that you can do all right so you just start off with your F major chords and then we'll just focus on the down up strumming for this one and then I'll show you the next uh, strum the other strumming patterns you can do next that there so again it's just down up down up so I'll talk you through that strumming pattern again so you're just doing down up down on your F chord then onto your C major you do up down up down up then onto your A minor down up down and then your G major up down up down up and that's you there another strumming that you can do is just constant downstrokes for this one so you'll just be doing three downstrokes for your F chord then onto your C major for five, then your A minor for three, and then onto your G major for another five. And that's it, you can just keep that down the whole way through the song as well, so it would just sound like this. Right, and what, you can, what else you can do for that, if you're going to be doing the constant down strumming you can do pan muting as well there's been a few live videos that I've seen uh, Tom Petty doing where he will mix between just playing it just like that there and going down going focusing on the down strokes so what pan muting is all you do is just get the side of your hand and you just gently put that on the strings and all you're just doing the same picking pattern so you get three down strokes for your F chord then five for your C major 
notes here, A minor for three, and then G major for another five. And that's just how you can do that there. Okay, so it doesn't matter what strumming pattern you decide to do, if you prefer doing the down up down up strumming pattern then that's you, you can just stick with that one. Or if you prefer doing the palm muted and the down strokes, you can carry on doing that. It's entirely up to you, uh, however you're wanting to play it. It'll, it'll all sound the same when you're playing along with the song. Right, so that's a good one to practice with. Another thing to remember is with the chords, you can just take your time when you're changing them. So a good practice routine that I like to do just to get used to chords is there's a certain chord structure that I feel I'm struggling with. What I'll do is I'll take time out just to focus on getting my hands used to doing changing from one chord to the next. So what you can do is just do one downstroke and just count to four at a pace that you're happy with and then go on to the next one. So you can just do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And that's just a good uh, strumming exercise, just to get used to changing from one chord to the next. And then every now and again just have a bash at the pick at the strumming pattern so you can uh, gradually get to the tempo of the song and play along with it as well. Okay, so when he's playing that, he does that 24 times, so you don't actually have to sit and count it when you're messing about without the song or anything. You can just, a, just give you a rough idea. Uh, so we'll do that. Uh, 24 times when you're listening to the song and once he's done that he'll go on to his G chord and I've counted about 20 times he'll just do a down he can either do constant down strokes or again just down up down up and he'll just do and then it kicks into the solo and then he's back into doing the chords Went over there. Okay, so I'll play that. I'll play the chords that we just went over a few times for you, going into the G chord, and then I'll show you the last wee strumming pattern that he does near the end of the song, and then I'll let you go and have a practice at that. gets into his G chord, he just constantly, he just takes that out a few times. So I've counted about 20 times he'll do that, so again it doesn't matter what strumming pattern you do, you can either constantly do down up strokes or you can do just constant down strokes, but he just goes around about 20 times and then he'll go back to playing it, just like that there, just over the guitar show. Right. And then another pattern that he does, just down right at the end of the song, he'll do So it's just a kind of down, up, up, down, then onto your C for one down stroke, then your A minor, down, up, down, then onto G for one down stroke. So just a. And that's it there. That is Tom Petty's Learning to Fly. So. Again, it's a really fun song to play. You'll no doubt pick this up very quickly. It's a really good song. Again, just working on uh, your changing from one chord to the next. Simple strumming pattern the whole way through. I can guarantee you, you'll have this song mastered in no time. So I'll let you get on with practicing that. And uh, feel free to give me a message. Again, just if there's any other songs that you're wanting to learn or any styles or techniques, just get me on the McNaughton Guitar Facebook page and I'll have one up as soon as possible for you. If you could also go on to subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Music, that would be a great help as well. So I hope you've enjoyed playing that video and I'll have another one up for you as soon as possible. Bye!